Hey guys, welcome to my first haul video of 2023. Um, this is not a haul video I thought I'd start with because I don't really read, but there's a Barnes & Noble in my area that's closing, so it was basically a clearance section, clearance sale. Everything in the store was 40% off or 50% off, so I never know whether to look at the camera or to look at me, so my eyes are gonna be shifting, but let's just get into it. Okay, so the first thing I got was this Jungalo Decorate Wild book. It's by Justina Blake, Justina Blake and me, Blake me? I don't, I'm sorry. I'm totally butchering her name, but that's her right there. She, I just found out actually recently through this book, um, designed the whole Jungalo collection at Target. So probably why it says Jungalo right there. She's actually the author of my other favorite book. Actually says right here, author of the New York Times bestselling The New Bohemians, which is the only book I've read in the past three years. Um, this book right here, I got it at Home Goods. If you love boho vibes, she's your girl. Um, I like it's The New Bohemians because I didn't get into boho decor completely until I moved here about four four years ago. The pictures are incredible. I don't even know. I don't even know where to start. We just have to. Okay, let me just show some of my favorites. Um. My gosh. Okay. I don't even. I'm like so much pressure. <laughs> this is a vibe. Oh my God, I feel like I'm totally ruining the book. She talks about like the importance of natural lighting and harmony and different neutral colors that pair with big bold colors without overdoing it. She's very like bohemian maximalist, which is like my ideal decor style, even though my room doesn't really reflect that. So she goes through the different like um, patterns of how to score each kind of vibe. She's just super iconic. She designed my everything I got from Target. So she designed that. She designed my beddings. She designed this um, curtain I have right over there. Um, she designed basically half my life. <laughs> she did not design those bags. So let's put this back on me. Um, yeah, she's iconic. So this book is normally $50. I got it for half off. I put the little sticker inside. Um, so it was about $25. I'll just show you some of my favorite pictures and stuff. It's like an adult picture book, but she def I definitely, it's definitely worth reading. The, um, it is a book, like, she writes a lot about, like, the importance of imagination and making your own decor, like, handcrafting and repurposing things whenever you find the chance, the importance of, like, shelving things and, like, making old stuff new, like, what makes someone attracted to the bohemian lifestyle perhaps like all the wildlife um mixed with like different textures so she's super iconic and most of her stuff is like orange based and i used to hate the color orange i don't know why don't come for me but i absolutely love the color orange now um which is funny because one of my ex endeavors i don't know what to say all that uh experience in my life they loved orange and I don't know I it definitely has grown on me look how iconic like I it's just super super my vibe there's a lot of orange like like velvet plush stuff and a lot of sun stuff like I like um she does a lot of like pinks and like neutrals but still like fun and funky um let me just show you that one okay cool so we're done with that book <laughs> i don't want to like spoil it too much in case you want to get it or look into it okay so the next book i got was half off so it was at four bucks it's called the mat what's called the modern witch's journal chart to magic journey and hidden wisdom it has all these cute little emojis of like palm the crystals um let's see it has a little pentagram, it has tarot cards, it has potions, um, 
In this book, you'll learn how to harness the power of a winter and summer solstice, the influence of the elements, chakras, and crystals, the roles of the sun, moon, and planets in each witch year, and how to respect the natural world and trust your intuition. So it's just like a little book that kind of um, guides you through. It's like a, a workbook almost. Like um, You kind of get to write down your own like spells once it walks you through it and then interpreting interpreting your tarot cards um paper magic energy of abundance the energy of balance the energy of negative oh spells to break negative habits so it kind of reminds me of that one question a day book i just like journals you could fill out and it's just like a one thing a day it's not overwhelming like oh actually i have my journal right here this journal right here that's what it reminds me of so if i put two and two together i feel like i'll just do two questions a day without overwhelming myself you know i like a guided journal experience so i'm not like what do i write about like do i just write about how i feel right now do i write about at the end like a journal prompt will get me there <laughs> okay the next thing is this pendulum magic for beginners um dowsing the depth dowsing and divinate oh my god i cannot talk i don't know what that says i'm not even gonna try <laughs> um but yeah it comes with all these cutesy little things pendulum chart and chakra card amethyst crystal pen pendulum uh, let's see it says a beginner's guide to pendulum magic will teach you your um oh my god i am struggling with that word i'm not even gonna try to edit that I, I need to look in the mirror and learn how to read. <laughs> okay, let's skip to the next book. Um, Journal of Radical Permission, a daily guide for following your soul's calling. I, again, going back to the journal, journal prompts, it is uh, pretty much, I don't know. You do, you have like five questions a day for each month kind of thing, I believe. So it's just like journal prompts. Oops. So different journal prompts, just single sentence journal prompts. And it gives you two pages to write whatever you feel to get some like confidence in life and find out your calling. And then the last book that I got was this, it's called Witchcraft Cocktails. Um, all my smaller books like this were about $7. Uh, 70 seasonal drinks infused with magic and ritual. A spellbinding collection of magical spirits and drinks. Includes handcrafted herbal infusions, syrups, bitters, and more. Um, so yeah, it has cutesy little pictures of all these little simple cocktails you could make. Let me just open up the page to a couple. Let's see. Um, fiery Mabon cocktail. Not really, not really sure what, if I said that right. Let's see, Awakening Yule, Mule. Cute, cute. They're all about like eight ingredient things. And half the ingredients are garnishes. Fire of Inspiration. That looks like a tea. The Bewitched Egg. Let's see. Memory Mojito Paloma Potion. That one looks super dope. Purifying Vodka Collins, love her. Harmony Healer, this one looks like it has ants on the rim, but I think that's chia seeds. <laughs> oh, it's lavender. Anyways, my dad thought this one was good. Um, so yeah, I'm excited for that one. And then I got one magazine because they didn't have any good ones left. Um, this was probably my most expensive thing. Isn't that freaking weird? Like a magazine's more expensive than my books? It's a V magazine with Gigi Hadid on it. Um, just has a lot of pictures I could make into posters for my wall. A lot of like um, high-end ads. Let's see. I just like these ones where they're holding like 12 different bags. I'm like, get to it. What if I held all those bags you guys saw earlier? Um, a lot of Gigi Hadid because, you know, she's the cover girl. Um, a lot of Gucci. That one is Ryan Gosling. Um, 
yeah, I like that it's a big magazine. It's like my statement magazine for um, the year. Like, I have a table of magazines, but this one's definitely the biggest I have. This is that one actress. Or is she a singer? I'm not sure. Lupita, I think. I'm not sure. Um, yeah. You could kind of guess what's in this magazine, but this is from this month, which is probably why there was, they don't carry a lot of magazines outside of the current month, and they're also getting rid of all the magazines, so I didn't have a lot to choose from. But my dad just got me a subscription for AD, so that was, that was nice of him. Okay, the last things I'm going to show you guys are the two accessories that I got. So I got this cat corkscrew, scaredy cat from there. Um, little Halloween section, I guess. Um, I'm about to open it. I haven't opened it yet. It's all these cute little emojis. Look, it's like a little cat. And, I don't know. All this little stuff. Then it's going to go well with the next thing I'm going to show you. But look how cute. It's like a cat stretching. Oh. So it's a wine opener. Um, so you have all your classic kind of things. That little tail is the to cut the what do you call it this thing when it's like the the wrapping and then of course you pull out the classic um screw let me pull it out ow mother fuck ow. <laughs> ow. so you have that fun stuff and then yeah, that's pretty much it. It's kind of self-explanatory. Um, yeah. But it, I just think it's so creative. I just, that's so creative. And that was like seven bucks too. All the accessories are half off. So there is actually a reason why I have a full bottle of wine, a half bottle of wine in my room. Not only because I was going to demonstrate that, but I realized I already opened the wine. But I got these expensive um, wine glasses from Barnes & Noble too. They were $40 for two wine glasses, but with the half off, I got them for 20. It's a double-walled insulated glass, easy grip flat side, hot and cold ready. So it doesn't just have to be for wine. It could be for like tea and stuff. And usually I like the glasses that have the stem. So, you know, they say your hands don't warm up the wine and change the flavor or texture or whatever. But because it's double insulated, I'm not really gonna do that, at least right away, because it's gonna stay piping cold. Piping cold, oh my god. You guys know what I meant. Um, so I'm gonna be opening it for the first time and then probably showing you guys what it looks like with wine inside. And showing myself, I guess. A little unboxing for ya. Okay, so this security thing comes off, and then, voila, look how cute. Okay. So, I don't know, I was expecting it to be, like, wrapped a little more. Let's see. It looks like I just pulled these tabs out. Knowing me, I'd break it right in front of you guys on camera. Um, yeah, it doesn't look too fancy, but I feel like with the wine inside, it'll look a lot cooler. It is, like, seamlessly designed. It doesn't look like two cups. It looks like one cup. But it's, the, the cup inside is, like, separated. Double insulated. I don't know. So, the box is cute for, like, a keepsake. Okay. I know you guys probably think it's gross that I didn't wash them out. But like, look how clear that is. Like, looks like straight out of the factory. I'm gonna take my chances. <sighs> okay. Why am I pouring it with beer? I don't know if you could tell now. Look how dope that is. It's just like classy. Like, these are my display cups. Like, when am I ever gonna afford Cork's Coal attire? Or decor. I don't know. Okay. It is time for me to drink this wine so I can edit this video if I need to edit like any of those like burps out or something. I don't know. Did I burp? I probably did. Anyways, thanks you guys for watching my video and I'll see you guys for the next video.
Thanks.